What's, What's up, guys? guys? It's your boy Anthony. And it's your girl Rhea. And we're back at it again with, with another video. video. So we're back with another video today, guys. And today we're actually reacting to one of the video guys you suggested. Um, and it's the Do All Multiracial People Think the Same? Yep. Um, Which is interesting. That's why I was yeah. when I saw this um suggestion for us to react to i was actually like hmm like this might Let's be a very see, interesting yeah. video so Cause i'm excited wonder if other people think the same like, yeah you know and we, you guys will also get to see our opinion yeah. and see if you know what do we think all right and well yeah. before we get into this video we will say thank you guys for watching with us and yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe like always and we're just gonna hop right into the video all right what's up good humans i'm so excited because we just dropped our human good collection called surface level i'm wearing one of the shirts it's literally the most beyond my surface thing in the world you have to go to humangoodla.com to check out all the rest of the shirts and everything else that we have on there but we're selling out like lightning fast so you have to go right now literally right now I do use the N-word, but I only say it when I'm around fellow black people, so my friends or my family who are black. But at the same time, I'm like, I don't look black, so when it comes out of my mouth, they're like, whoa. It's kind of like, whenever I see, like, you know, Spanish people use it too, you know. It's kind of like, whoa. Yeah, yeah I see, like, <laughs> like, I remember back in high school, like, all the Spanish kids would be like, what's good, my nigga? Like, you know, they would mm -hmm. say it, not to me, they would say it to each other. You know what I mean? Or even, like, I've seen, like, a couple, like... So do you think it's okay for Spanish people to use the word? To be honest? For Hispanic people to it's use not the word. Hispanic. I've seen people, like, from, like... No, I'm saying, like, just... No, but I'm just saying, not only people. them, though. Not only Spanish. I've seen, like, Middle Eastern people, too, like, in my I know, school. but do you think it's okay? That's what I'm asking. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really have an issue with it. I mean, because I guess it's the way that you use it. Mm -hmm. And coming from New York, you know, it's like, it's, it's different. I don't know. Like, you know, you always catch people saying, my nigga. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's, it's like the norm almost. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. I mean, everybody do what they do. But if you talk to me, mm -hmm. please come correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> You're mixed race, correct? Yes, sir. Are I am mixed, mixed with race? African and Asian. I am more Asian than black. Really? My dad was from El Salvador, and my mom is half Japanese, half Jewish. Whoa. My ethnicity is Filipino and black. I do feel more inclined to my black side more than my Filipino side. My mother is white, and my dad is Iranian. All throughout high school, I just pretended I was white because I looked very white. I am half Chinese, half Russian Jewish. I never really connected to either side, just somewhere in the middle. My mom is Jamaican and my dad is Australian. Yo. I think mixed race is a race, so I don't. Oh, I never like thought you were Jamaican, right? People think I'm not because I'm mixed race. Three, the thing is, you two, can't really tell some of them are mixed race. Yeah, sometimes you would just think like just... one of them is just Asian or one of them is just white. Mm -hmm. You would never think they're mixed race, but that's that's a that's the thing though sometimes you go first off a of color yeah but sometimes yeah. people like really be, be half white and half black but they look like they're white yeah or they look like because maybe black. yeah you know because of their hair and stuff no i'm saying maybe because like one parent's genes are more dominant than the other so it's like yeah they look more like one side but i know mixed people definitely have your heart like especially like growing up and in school so like choosing which side which not even side. choosing side take that back you're just like identifying like identifying yes trying That's to find your identity mm -hmm. you know yeah. And also, you know, little kids, like, they're ruthless. So it's like, they'll bully you just for anything. Mm -hmm. Like, really. So even if, you don't, if you, even if you're mixed, then it's like you go to school that's majority white or majority black, and you're mixed with black or white and something else, and it's like, now you're kind of like the outsider. You're the outsider regardless if you go to one school that's majority yeah. of one particular type. That you don't and you're not really, fit into. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm actually jumped As over. As a mixed black person, a lot of people are like, oh my god, like, you're like light skin. You look so nice. Like, you don't look like all the other ghetto girls. And I'm like, oh, like, exactly. what is that supposed to mean? Exactly. That's my the ghetto aunt. Girls. Like, exactly. On first dates, girls. most of the time people be like, oh, no wonder you're so attractive. Or like, no wonder you're so gorgeous. And I'm just like, ugh. 
I don't love that reaction. I've always found like it's like just an awkward thing to bring I up the conversation because there's like Me all too. the memes where like people are like, oh, did you know like I'm mixed or whatever, and it's like bringing it up in like the natural flow of conversation is always kind of weird. I need to see these memes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen like the the logic memes where he's like, oh, I'm biracial, and it's like. You haven't seen No! <laughs> he's just always bringing up how he's like half black, and that's like yes. what the meme is. I'm allowed to say racial slurs as long as I'm part of that identity. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two. That's a hard one. Go. I mean, because you are, though. You're part this. You're, if you're half black, you're black. Mm -hmm. So, me you have white, I you're white. do not say the N word. I just. I just don't. I just doesn't flow out right. But like for my Asian side, obviously I can call my like fellow girlies chinks and stuff. But like obviously if someone else said that, you get the fist. I agree. Um, I do use the N word, but I only say it when I'm around fellow black people. So my friends or my family yeah. who are black. Same. But at the same like, time, yo, I'm, like, I'm not going to say it to nobody black, else. So though. It's mm -hmm. kind of weird. They're like, whoa. I try my best to only use the N-word around, like, my black friends just because it creates this, like, weird air when I'm with, like, white people. It's a slippery slope that I don't like to go down. Probably makes them really... Yeah, because they're going to be looking at you like, whoa. But <laughs> like, sometimes, you know, it's crazy. Like, some of them be trying to use it on the low, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look, yeah. Trying to low-key use it. <laughs> and not it actually like more it's like think, it's kind of like it's like an exclusive word where it's like mm -hmm. you got to be part of this group to use it but it's really not even all that yeah, deep it's I don't just like it that it's just a word <laughs> i mean yeah it's just a word but, but like also because of you know this history behind, the history it. behind it yeah you know, yeah i guess for me i just won't let a word control my emotions or you know what i mean like if somebody was to say to me I just wouldn't let it affect me, like... I think it depends on you know how I mean? they say it. Do they say it with, like, the ER even if, if the they, Even if they say it with the ER, whatever the case is, like... I just look at it, like... You're, just, you're trying to hurt me, but I'm not going to allow you to, you know, mm -hmm. affect me. It's just a word at the end of the day. And if you do say that word to me, I'm just going to, you know... Yeah, like the girl said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. <laughs> It's not even uncomfortable. A lot of them think it's really cool, and then some people will feel entitled to do that, and then you just don't want to have that conversation. That was me with my Asian friends. Yeah. It's like a lot of Asian people like like to think, go into black culture sometimes. Yes. You know? I did get into a little bit of an altercation in high school for calling uh, white people colonists. That was the thing. <laughs> and people were like, that's a racial slur. I don't think it is. That <laughs> not a racial it is. Slur. No, it's not. Actually, I'd I don't feel comfortable using any slurs. If I haven't heard those slurs towards me, then I, maybe I am not in a position to reclaim them. How you pass is more important than your actual race. Passing How when a person mm -hmm. classified as a member of one racial group, except as a member of a group other than their own. Oh, so like, kind of like what the guy was saying, like how, you, how he was more like, even though he's Iranian, he was more white, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. But it says other than their own. So then, let's say they're part of a group that's that they're not part of. Like, I don't know. Like, let's say I'm, I'm a, let's say I'm a, when a person classifies as a member of one racial group. Yeah, so I guess if I'm, like, accepted as part of, like, the group of, like, the white people, mm -hmm. when I'm, like... Is that what it means? I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's see what they what they say. Three, two, one, go. In America today, <laughs> walking down the street, it matters what you look like. People are yeah. going to judge you based on the race that they perceive you to yeah. be. Yep. When I walk down the street, people aren't going to look at me the same way as they look at someone who's perceived as black. Yeah. And so I just want to like really acknowledge the reality of that. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't disagree with you at all. But at the same time, so I think the most important thing is just how you grew up. Someone that has a black parent that doesn't appear black, they were still raised by a black person. They still like everything that their parents experience is passed down to them whether it's through story or just through actions i'm actually gonna move over to this line which is i guess more of a middle line just because um i can't do that then i'm here never mind <laughs> <laughs> so uh i'm on somewhat agree because uh, i'm an actor and when i go into casting calls it only matters what i look like and it only matters what race they think i am yeah. which is a lot of times white 
but I'll sometimes I'll get called in for things that are not my ethnicity, and that's because of my career. That's what's important with that. I've tried to hide some of my racial identity. Three, mm. two, one. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm proud of who I am. I mean, all the, you can't school, hide it. Oh just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a time when my dad picked me up from school. It was a whole thing, and people were saying like, "Oh, your dad's a terrorist." I had never experienced anything like that, or they'd ask me about it. They'd make bomb jokes, and it it, it hurt to hear people saying stuff like that about my dad. A similar Damn. thing happened to me, like That's when sad. I was in elementary school. My dad came and dropped me off at school. And he's like a dark skinned black man and he's from the hood on top of that. So like he has a certain like aura to him. And a lot of people look at me like, That's your dad? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah. that's my dad. And they're like, He looks so scary. And I'm like, Why does he look scary to you? Why should he look scary to you? And like the only thing that's keeping me away from this strongly disagree is because when I was younger I just did not accept the black part of myself. And now I do. I just want to say I'm really sorry like to both of you that you felt like you've been put in positions to feel like that that's just like such a terrible thing to tell someone no you can't be every part of who you are. These past couple years I've been trying to like reconnect with that part because I shoved it down for so long and it's it's been really heartbreaking the amount of noruz I missed and um, the Ramadans I didn't celebrate because I felt so uncomfortable about that. I think it's important you're taking the steps though. Personally, just I I've never. The thing is, why can't we just all just be happy and just you know, like stop judging, judging each other. Yeah, I feel like that's the reason why they have a hard time yeah. because of other people. It's not even because of themselves, it's because and, of other people. And why can't we just admire other people for who they are and where they come from? Like think about it, like. I feel like we're all just like crayons in a coloring box. Like, why can't we just, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just use all of them. And they, you know what I mean? Why do we have to be so judgmental, so hateful, or it has to be an issue about mm -hmm. who you are? Like, oh, what you, who you, like, what you identify with? Yeah, just let me be myself, be yourself, and that's it. As, as long, long as, as long as you're identifying with what you actually are, like, mm -hmm. let's say, for example, if you're white and you identifying as black, now nah, that's an issue, right? But if you're like half white, half black, you just half white, half black. I don't think that's it's it. an issue if you're white and you identify as black. Because let's say we just admire the culture. It's like, yes, let's say you could admire black the that, culture, but you're not going to pretend like you're black. I guess. No, it's you're not black. You don't. I, don't, I think there's no such thing as you're being black. I think it's just you're basically. Babe, it's the same way. Like, for you're, example. You're identifying with the culture. Just like. Okay, but it's like, for example, if like, like, for example, okay, let's say I'm not Muslim, right? But I'm going to dress like them because I like the culture. They're going to find that disrespectful. Yeah, I can, that I can understand. Like, if you not, if that's not what you are, then no. Mm -hmm. No. I see. I mean, I guess that's just I'm that. like, I'm only going to, you know, wear what they wear. If I'm part of you, part of their culture, if mm -hmm. I'm part of you know, if I identify the same, but it happens all the time. Them. It actually happens even. That's now. what I'm saying. It happens, but I'm saying it's not okay. Yeah. I tried to hide any part of me. That's always been like the biggest thing for me. Um, growing up, like I was always proud to be white, and I was always proud to be black. That's just how I was raised, and that's always how I was. And I just wanted to be me, so that's what I did. Um, the reason I'm on this line is because Western beauty standards suck. They really, really got to me. I would Russian and Asian. be really picky about how I would do my hair and, and how I would part my hair. And then when I would post YouTube videos or Instagram posts, I would color correct everything to be really blue so that I didn't look yellow. And it was just like I, I didn't want to post a photo of me outside because I thought my eyes looked too Asian. A lot of yeah. internalized things that made me feel, made me hate myself and my appearance okay, and yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, just now yourself. I feel much more accepting of being mixed and being everything that I am but I am here because I have felt like I wanted to hide a part of me because um, it would have been easier for me 
I agree. Like, when I was younger, I used to want to be lighter. I used to get made fun of. I would always get the question, are you adopted? You're not Asian. And it just made me feel so bad about myself that I just was so confused because I didn't fit in any single pocket of anybody in any friend groups. I couldn't hang out with the Chinese kids because they're like, they you don't stick Chinese. Together. I don't hang out with the black kids because I don't sound black. And they say I'm whitewashed. So I have my whole entire life, I've literally battled within like, what the hell am I? I yeah, that's hard. To my Three, two, one, go. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, so I feel like I just have to say that when writing college essays, every single one of my essays was about being half Iranian and half white. Like when I was applying for scholarships, that was what I would talk about because it was something that I really felt passionate about, but also that something that I knew would catch people's interest. And I think <laughs> I, I don't feel guilty about using that because I think it's a double-edged sword and there's lots of repercussions for being mixed race too. Well, I kind of interpreted it differently. Like I haven't really abused my power like that. Like sure, that is a way like that, but like I didn't, <laughs> I haven't done anything else besides that on like my college apps. So I don't know if I can do this, but I'm, maybe I'm gonna like straddle these two. You can't do that. Okay, then I'll like daintily pose over here. <laughs> but like my grandma is Jew was Jewish and I did go on birthright, which is a free trip for people of Jewish descent. And even though I don't like identify a lot with the Jewish religion, I did get a free trip to Israel out of being <laughs> part Jewish. So I guess that's like kind yeah, of something I mean. to my advantage. But I really loved my time there. <laughs> yeah, this guy's funny. Hey, free trip. Yeah. Free, free trip. trip. Yeah, hey. but, you know. I've like gotten like jobs for being half Asian. For like, like I worked at mostly predominantly Asian businesses and as soon as i say i speak fluent cantonese i got the job but that's like a skill i know like you can be skill. proud of it it's no a skill i love have. it no trust me but i it does get me also because she looks different other people yeah. who are like so it's like oh white yeah. or black who get the same positions but they would hire me because i'm half asian no but because like, you speak the language really. speak the yeah language <laughs> It's not the okay, I moved because I was thinking more about the question. When I first heard the question, I was thinking, like, do I have any kind of advantage? And then I was thinking about how, like, being part white does give me some privilege and, like, some advantages. But I don't think I've used that for, like, scholarships or any of that. And I try to really stay conscious when I'm in, like, an Asian space to not take up too much of the space. I hate that, though, how, like, mm -hmm. you do have certain advantages or mm. disadvantages just depending on what race yeah you or your skin tone or your skin, your skin tone color. like that's kind of i hate that because it's kind of like messed up like oh well, yeah like i can't get this job but this person can because they're yeah. lighter or they're white yeah it's just you know that's what i said why can't we just admire each other for you know who we are as people um, look at the person's character mm -hmm. not what's on the outside because this doesn't mean anything this is just mm -hmm. you know this is just this is just the outside you don't know what the inside is yeah. so i feel like yeah there's no reason for all this it's just pretty much you're prejudging being prejudiced yeah and you know not really getting to know the person um that's how I always wonder. I'm like, why do they even ask that on like job applications? Like, they oh, literally ask race? you, "What's your race?" Yeah. Like, why is that even a question? Really. The crazy thing is, crazy thing is, I'm not really black, because <laughs> black is like, like my watch is black. You know what I mean? So it's like, baby is being literal. But I'm just saying, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, but yeah. I feel you. My whiteness. You know, like it's like a but it's, it's a fine your line. space. Like you're still yeah. Asian. <laughs> I guess I've always been kind of cautious about that. Um, but thinking more about the question, I was like, no, I should be on this side. The issue of racism can be solved by interracial love. Three, mm, two, not really. Yeah. Is this from the audience? <laughs> yeah. I, there are way too many articles about. A interracial couple where it's later find out that the white part is saying a racial slur about their child just to boil it down to like love 
it, it can't it really can't be done no. first of all that second of all there's a lot of sorry to name names but like a lot of white women women who want to get with black men trying to achieve their light-skinned baby who's like just the perfect amount of tan with the perfect amount of curls yeah, yeah like raise your hand if you've heard someone be like oh my gosh i would have such gorgeous mixed babies like definitely yeah. heard that and we're all gorgeous don't get me wrong <laughs> but that's super problematic to say one and two i'm over that's here like because, that's like, the same thing i'm saying like if you're not mixed your baby is not gonna, not gonna be, be yeah. like if you want people be like oh my god they're gonna have a mixed baby the mm-hmm. baby's gonna look so cute mm-hmm. so you're trying to say like if the Regular. baby was 100 percent black they wouldn't be as cute. they wouldn't be as cute it's well there's a lot of cute babies from all different races not Pretty just much. you have to be mixed mm-hmm. you know but whatever there is like no one solution to racism let me make it really clear that uh a white person having a kid with a black person does not mean that that person does not have uh racist tendencies or is not discriminatory at all i love my dad to death but he sometimes he just says things where it's like you shouldn't be saying that plus like even in like a future if at least if, he like, know, america at least i like the fact that he knows, he knows that yeah. like hey like this is wrong you really shouldn't be saying this mm-hmm. i like that becomes super mixed and like everybody's mixed if not racism it will still have like colorism and yeah. different nuances within racism it's not going to go away just because people are more mixed like you can say like mixed people are the future or whatever but it's not going to solve racism nothing <laughs> Honestly, kudos to them for, you know, going up there and, you know, expressing their feelings and what mm-hmm. they've been through. And sharing their easy. stories. Because, yeah. yeah, it's definitely not easy. Especially when, you know, you, like, as growing up, you deal with issues, like, you know, with identity issues. Mm-hmm. I know for sure. That's why it's not easy. Yeah, it ain't. <clears throat> it ain't easy. But, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments yeah. down below. Like, you know, answer some of the questions that were um some of the prompts mm-hmm. that were given in this video like like let us know your answers down below and yeah and we just want to say we love all people no matter what race color whatever you identify yourself with yes we love you guys and we we'll catch you in the next one bye guys